We're here with Doug and Lindsay, part of the D-Day squadron, looking to bring the C-47 DC-3s back across to Europe in 2024. Now, Doug, you took That's All Brother in 2019. Can you tell me about that? Well, it was a tremendous trip, an uh, opportunity of a lifetime. Um, it was uh, uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life. Challenging in many ways, but incredibly rewarding, and we just had a fantastic time and look forward to going back. I'm excited to see you back across the channel and into the rest of Europe. Tell me about the preparation that's going to happen in the next two years before you make that journey again. The biggest part of this deal is money. We're going to have to have a lot of partners, just like we did last time, that are willing to step up and support. Because every airplane has to raise somewhere between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand dollars, and you know fuel prices have gone up since twenty nineteen a little bit, so it's <laughs> even going to be more expensive. But um, from an airplane perspective, you know you just need to have a good, dependable airplane that's operating regularly with crews that are good, qualified, and current. Operationally, last time uh, we had very few difficulties with any of the airplanes. We made it look easier than it really is. You made it look very easy, in fact, but have you learned some lessons on the way that you're going to be taking into 2024? Yeah, we learned a lot. In some ways, it'll be easier, but you can't let your guard down. You know, the FBOs in Europe are not accustomed to delivering 500 gallon of 100 low lead to 15 airplanes. Yeah. And so two really big challenges we had, you know, we were early in the morning and late at night was fuel and food. That was one of the real struggles, but the energy level that we were operating on, we were, you know, we were able to get by, and uh, we'll we'll do better this time. Unfortunately, people need food and fuel. Yeah. One of those shames of life. Now, <laughs> Doug, you mentioned the hundreds of thousands of dollars we're going to have to raise. Lindsay, from the D-Day Squadron on a logistics perspective, what are we looking at in the next two years in terms of funds and planning? We have to build an entire team again. So without the effort of a lot of folks have come forward already and said, once we announced, hey, I want to help, let us support you. We will help in pro bono services. What do you need to help organize? That's a big support to us because the majority of what we do is volunteer. You know, when we look at the crews that are flying these aircraft, they fly to commemorate the greatest generation. They're not getting paid to do this. They're taking the time out of their schedules and earmarking that for the return trip to Europe. And so, as the DA squadron, our responsibility is gathering the larger corporate partners to help offset a lot of the cost when it comes to launching these aircraft out of a certain location in the East Coast, assembling them there, providing some training opportunities, some events to really commemorate this worthwhile historic effort, paying tribute to the greatest generation. So we've got a lot of work to do over the next two months. Two months, two years, <laughs> sorry, two years. That would be a little bit too quick of a timeline, probably. Yeah. <laughs> now. We're talking all about these heroes of World War II and the men that flew the airplanes. There's also, of course, the airplanes themselves. You've made the DC-3 Society. Could you explain what that is and its purpose? Absolutely. So once we were successful in our mission to Europe in 2019 with several commemorations, including D-Day 75th, Berlin 70th, and then our obviously our opportunities that we did in Venice, Italy and supported there by the Italians, we came back and we were contacted by a number of DC-3 operators to say, hey, there is no current establishment or platform or owner group for the DC-3. There's no one that is creating the SOPs or, or really leading the charge in providing resources. There are you know a few clusters of groups here and there how can the d-day squadron be that organization to launch a membership society for the dc3 so when we decided to do that we said well we can't just be a society for dc3 owners and operators we need to be an outfit that helps support dc3 enthusiasts historians collegiate members, media that love to come aboard and support covering the flying history that we we are so good at doing obviously but also crews pilots, mechanics, engineers, all of those of the like that really love flying this DC-3. So that is what we have going on right now and inviting folks to take parts. So they can come on board, come fly with us, come learn how to fly a DC-3 too. Well, I am so excited to see how the next two years and that whole month in Europe is going to work out for everybody. Have a great rest of your Oshkosh. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Maria. Tempest Aero Group is a leading general aviation marketing and distribution company that has partnered with some of the best brands in the industry, including Tempest, Alcor, Marvel Schebler, Precision Air Motive, Consolidated Fuel Systems, and Stratus Tool Technologies.
These brands represent high quality aviation components and tools for OEM and aftermarket applications. Quality, commitment, innovation, and family.